Hey. <laughs> All right. So um, right now I just want to talk about some things that I've learned after interviewing some amazing performance dancers as well as instructors. Um, I've learned a lot on this journey, man. I've got a long way to go still, but um, I just want to talk about some things. So, um, one common thing that I am always hearing is, you know, master the basics. And I believe the reason I keep hearing that from so many people is if you want to think about, if you want to think about your skill level as like a house, you want the foundation of that house to be as stable, you know, and as concrete as it can be. And so that's what the basics are. Um, when your basics and the foundation is solid, everything on top of that, you know, is is A plus, grade A. Um, next thing I you know I hear about is um connection to your partner and to the music trumps, you know, all the dance moves, all the turn patterns in the world. And the reason for that is, you know, the reason we go out dancing is, you know, to have a good time, to meet new people. Um, so when when you're when you're in this mindset of like, you know, you're putting on a performance, you're not really connecting with your partner. Um, I know, you know, I'll get on Instagram, YouTube, and I'll see some amazing dances, but you know, you have to, I have to be able to separate, you know, the performance from like a true social dance. So unless you have like, you know what I'm saying, some dude recording you, man, you truly should be focusing on your partner because, you know, when when your partner's happy, when you focus on making your partner happy and making her smile, you know what I'm saying, um, making him smile, making them smile, <laughs> um, it makes for a good night, man. You know what I'm saying? We all go out to have a good night. So when you can take that those three to four minutes, focus on making your partner have a good time, making them laugh, making them smile. You know, it, it makes everyone, if everyone has that mindset, you know, we all have a good time, man. So, um, yeah, that, that, that right there, man. Um, if you're, if you're a beginner and you feel like you're in a rut, you know, that beginner's rut, like you're not advancing, you're not improving, um, you should focus on the basics and stay persistent, um, you know, man, you can see it on the YouTube channel, bro. I've interviewed some amazing dancers, and all of them started as a beginner at one point. You dig? Like, um, I started dancing, I was like 20, 21, and I'll be 28 this year, man. And I have seen the progression. I remember my first dance class, yo. I have seen the progression from where I was, as you know what I'm saying, in the beginning to where I am now, man. It's... You know what I'm saying? It's it's amazing what just not giving up can do. And it, it shows me, you know, how that translates to other things in life. Staying persistent, you know, it's, it's astounding, man. Um, the next thing up is, you know, for intermediates who want to become, who want to get to that advanced level, you know, what does it take for them? And um, you know, this, these are, I'm getting these answers from what I asked them, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not just talking. These are the summaries of what I've learned so far. And what they tell me, man, is if you're an intermediate and you want to get to that advanced level, you got to go back to the basics. <laughs> That's what they all tell me. It's, it's, it's the craziest. Like, I'm kind of getting tired of hearing it. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? There's got to be more to it. But they all tell me, go back to the basics. And, and what it is is that when, when you have the basics down pat when your basics are on point it helps learn everything else it makes it so much easier because you realize that everything else stems from the basics so when you when you can do your basics master them without thinking you learn everything else so much easier man so 
it's something that, you know, I've been doing myself, man, just trying to improve my basic, man, my, my basic step, you know what I'm saying, the basic term, and um, just just trying to become a better dancer overall, man, so, you know, man, that's, that's my goal, that's what I'm trying to focus on, bro, um, some tips that can make you a better dancer, um, if you want to improve your musicality, you need to be listening to that music genre all the time. And what it is, is that you start to, you listen to that music genre and you start to notice the pattern in that music. You know, music is really just a pattern, man. So you listen to that specific music genre enough, man. You start to pick up on the pattern and you're able to essentially tell What's going to happen next in that song? It could be a brand new song you never heard before, but you know the music genre so well that you can kind of, you know, you're kind of guessing. You're playing with music, but you just, you know, you kind of anticipate what comes next. And and that leads to, you know, um, like, there's no greater feeling than I have no better dance than when the DJ puts on, like, my favorite song. Because, you know what I'm saying, I already know, I already know the music and everything, so... It's really cool because, like, you know what I'm saying, it's your favorite song. And it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you, you put your favorite song on, man. You know what I'm saying, I, I go grab my girl and it's just like, you know what I'm saying, I do my thing. Because it's my favorite song, you dig. It's easily the best dance ever. Um, if, so another thing, you know what I'm saying, some tips. I, I ask all of them, you know what I'm saying, give me, give me one tip that can make someone a better dancer immediately. You know, and they tell me, you know, um, focusing on your partner. If you can make your partner smile and make them laugh, you know, just focus on them and not be caught in your own head. Focusing on your partner, focusing on the music, focusing on your surroundings, it makes being present in the moment. It makes it makes for a better dance because you're not like you're not being stuck in your head. So yeah, focusing on your partner, focusing on the music, man, it makes. It makes you memorable because you're not you're not self conscious, you know what I'm saying? If you if you are if you're nervous about like dancing with someone, a uh, shout out to Alexander Sayan from Toronto Dance Hall awesome, Center. He put me on this one. He says if you're nervous about dancing with someone, you should try and make it a game where you're Number one goal is to make that person laugh or smile, you know what I'm saying? When you get out your head and start focusing on the person, you know, um, stop being self-conscious, you have a better dance, man. So, um, yeah, focusing on your partner in the music, man, that's the key to it. Being present, man, oh, man, I think you'll always have a good time. Um, I think the last one is, you know, learning to lead and to follow. If you can... Learn to both lead and follow. Oh boy, you're gonna be on such a whole nother level. And the reason for that is because, as a lead, when I understand, you know, a clear signal. What is a clear signal? You know, what is an unclear signal? You know, what's too much power? What's too little power? When I understand, you know, what it takes for the follow to understand, you know, the suggestion I'm giving her. <laughs> um, it, it makes me understand as a lead, you know, what I need to do when I'm learning to follow. I I now understand, you know, what is an unclear signal? You know, what is a clear signal? You know, what force, what effort the lead needs to give me so that I can accomplish that suggestion, man. So, you know, learning both the lead and the follow, oh, dude, it makes you a grade A dancer, bro. Seriously, if you are, if you want, to, if you have, you know, aspiring to teach, you, how can you not know both? You know what I'm saying? So, dude, yeah, I can't speak highly enough about learning to lead and follow. It's something I'm struggling right now, but, um, you know what I'm saying? I got to start somewhere, yo. <laughs> um, but, yeah, man, these are just um, some thoughts I jot down. Still busy, still interviewing people, man. I've got, 
I got interviews all throughout June. May, June. Yeah, I got all interviews all throughout June. I got like two or three interviews some days, man. So, you know, so I'm excited, man. Got to keep rocking and staying out of your dig. But, um, yeah, bruh. Two FB podcasts. Let's get it. Hey. <laughs>